The Association of Licensed Telecommunication Operators of Nigeria says the accumulated debt from the unstructured supplementary service data owed to them by banks rose to 80 billion naira of November this year. The chairman of Atkan Gbenga uh, Adibaya made this known in a recent interview. He said the time will come when uh, telecommunication companies will be forced to withdraw from USSD services as banks refuse to pay. Recorded in 2019, telecommunications companies said they could no longer provide the services for free and proposed to take a cut of 4.50 naira per 20 seconds from the charges paid by customers to the banks. However, the banks kicked against it, alleging that it will raise cost by 450%. Earlier on our breakfast show, the breakfast we spoke to President Association of uh, Telecommunication Companies of Nigeria, Engineer Ike Inamani. Letting the general public know that if something is not done and the payments are not made by the banks, uh, unfortunately, the telecom sector may not be able to provide this service anymore. And the reason we're making this uh, known to the general public is at the end of the day, it is the subscribers that may suffer from it. Uh, reason being that this is not an issue that just came up. It's been on for many years now. In 2019, there was, uh, when the debt was still about 32 billion, there was agreement reached in terms of uh, how the banks were to pay it. Uh, they ignored that uh, agreement, they did honor it. In 2021, by this time, the debt has risen to about 42 billion. Another agreement was reached uh, that involved the CBM, the Telecom Regulator NCC, and the Ministry of Communication and Digital Economy. And um, at that point, we all felt a final arrangement has been reached that will ensure these debts are paid. Unfortunately, the banks again have totally ignored the agreement and refused to honor it. And the consequence of that is that the debt have now risen to about 80 billion. And our concern is that uh, with the trend and the way the banks are approaching the issue, there is clearly no means or willingness for them to pay. And uh, unfortunately, it will simply lead to inability of the telcos to be able to offer this service. Now, two things is important here. The banks already have the money because they've already debited the, uh, the, the customers, you, you know, account for this money. So the money is sitting with the bank. We're not asking for something that the banks don't already have with them, right? Uh, the second one is that there's an agreement that this payment should be made. And for some reason, uh, the bank just refused to make the payment. So it's good to put this in perspective. It's not like we are threatening the industry or the country. We're simply making it known that, unfortunately, we are running out of the resource to continue providing the service that is meant to be paid for, which for some reason the banks have simply refused to pay. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.